Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Woody Stock, thank you for the super chat. They said, Dear Rabbi, is historical Jesus, not Paul, etc., in any way opposed to key Jewish tenets? He is well versed in Talmud. Matthew 25 is in line with prophets, etc. Love your book too. Let me clear this up. When you say what Jesus says, so I ha I have to just disclaimer. What we find in the Christian Bible has no support from any contemporaneous first century writer, zero. So you're saying what the Christian Bible says that Jesus said? So then the answer is no. It's re the teachings of Jesus were anything true in the New Testament isn't new, but anything new in the New Testament isn't true. Therefore, the teachings of Jesus, like he died for your sins, that's antithetical to the Jewish scriptures. I'm talking about the canon itself, and we're not talking about late books. Let's talk about Mark chapter 10, verse 45. He gave his life as a ransom for your sins. Let's go to Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, a ransom of your sins. Notice Luke doesn't have that verse because Luke didn't believe that Jesus died as a ransom vicariously for your sins. So, and Mark chapter 7, verse 20 is an example that therefore whatever goes into your mouth doesn't defile you? Really? So no, and the idea that the Messiah is supposed to die and this is foretold, and no, this is not foretold. So, the, I, so of course you will find an Ab look, nobody be offended, but you will find Abrahamic religions all believe that Judaism was once the only true religion in the world. No matter how Christy you are, you have to concede that Judaism was the only true faith in the world. In fact, if you press a Christian and ask him, one moment before the cross, one minute before Jesus died on the cross, there were many religions in the world, which one was the only true one? Every Christian would concede that only Judaism was true. What iteration of Judaism? Only Pharisaic Judaism was true. It all changes at the cross. The veil is torn asunder, and that all changes, and then you have the Great Commission. So, therefore, the, the Christian Bible has to comport. Muslims rightfully taunt Christians by saying, you're anchored to the Hebrew Bible, and the New Testament claims as such. Well, in, if Luke 24, 44 is to be taken seriously, that Jesus is the fulfillment of the Torah, the prophets, and the writings, human sacrifice, that's the mother load of bad ideas in the Jewish scriptures. No innocent person could die for the sins of the wicked. That's repeated throughout the Hebrew Bible. If you want to find human sacrifice, go to, go to Central and South America and see what the Aztecs did with virgins. Look what the people who worship Molech did with babies, passing them through a fire. Why, why virgins and babies? Because they represent all that's innocent. So if we are to say that the Christian Bible really does characterize and reflect what Jesus said and taught, don't hand me Matthew 5.17. Don't do that, okay? Take all of it. Don't do just the Sermon on the Mount. Don't give me Beatitudes, okay? Fine. You, you, you stop strawmanning this. Steel man it. That's what I'm doing, okay? So vicarious atonement, horrible idea. The Messiah to die? No. He's to rebuke nations, to bring about a worldwide peace. Z, C, Zechariah chapter 9, verse 10. C, it's all over the place. So Jesus fulfills nothing that the Jewish Bible says they will fill. And then the church has to invent all these verses that were never intended to be messianic. I want to make one point for the viewers, because you have a sophisticated audience. How you pull this off, nobody knows. And <laughs> uh, you follow I, I, so. I, I want to make a point, and your, your audience is a sophisticated audience, I think. Um, N.T. Wright, I think, is one of the leading um, Christian theologians in the English-speaking world today. He's really a very bright guy. But one of his really intriguing ideas that many people seize, many Christians seize, is that N.T. Wright concedes that there's no one who expects the Messiah to die. No one. This is a major proposal of his. And the idea that the Messiah is supposed to die and then rise from the dead, no one believed that. No one was expecting that. Because it's nowhere found in the Jewish Bible, zero places. And therefore, so he's right. He's right. 
gold star for N.T. Wright on that. And I, I respect the guy, but he's, he's a Christian and he's a theologian. So he's got to make sense of it. So he goes, therefore, it has to be true because who would have made it up? Could you imagine? Like, then, like that is the, the most unfalsifiable argument possible. Like, then, then every religion could be true. And if it sounds totally wacky, well, it has to be true because it's so wacky. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but that's, NT, that's a major point of N.T. Wright, that no one expected the Messiah to die and rise from the dead. And therefore, they couldn't have been making it. Or it must have really happened. And we really have to believe that. If you're familiar with this, you know that I'm not setting up a straw man here. Hello? Well, maybe, just maybe, maybe the Messiah is not supposed to die and rise from the dead. And maybe that's why when Paul sets forth his most famous chapter, 1 Corinthians 15, the crucifixion chapter, he says that Jesus died and rose three days later from the tomb to fulfill the scripture. To fulfill, and then he does not, for some wild reason, which I can't identify at this moment, he doesn't tell us what scripture it is. I wonder why. He doesn't even make up one. No, there's just nothing there. Why is there a phantom text? There is no text like that in the Hebrew Bible. It doesn't exist. Fake, fake, fake. Complete scam. So could you imagine? So you take N.T. Wright, who is a very bright guy. He's a, a prolific author. He's, a, he's really a smart guy. And, and this is what he comes up with. That means inherent, baked into this argument of a very bright Christian theologian, a Christian scholar, by every account, um, his whole point is premised on that it, there's nothing in the Jewish Bible, no one, no Martian in the world who can read the Bi Jewish Bible would ever believe that the tense of Christianity were a fulfillment of Judaism. Hello, that's what the Jewish people are saying. It's not. If it says smoking kills on the side of the box, that doesn't mean you should smoke. I mean, it's bad. Stay away from it. End the story. <laughs> <laughs>